kids i hope you all are fit and fine at your places so kids in our today's video we will continue the same chapter which is a reverse tail and it is part 2 kids in our previous video which was part 1 of the same chapter we have made one story related to one picture now in this video we will take our next topic which is how does water become dirty now kids you saw that when river flow through or near to when river flow through or near villages towns and cities yes kids in the picture have you seen that when river water flows through villages towns and city its water changes yes its water changes now we see kids water changes means its smell change its color change now kids why the water changes see the people use water for many purposes such as washing clothes secondly for bathing animals thirdly cleaning utensils what are utensils kids utensils means bartan in hindi utensils so the people they use water for many purposes like for washing clothes for bathing animals for cleaning utensils and for other purposes also now kids these activities like washing clothes bathing animals cleaning utensils and many more these activities used to make the water dirty and the river kept changing when it moves through various places like these so the river water changes and gets the water which is there in pond and in lake the water which is there in pond and lake this also can become dirty due to same reasons now kids after this there is one activity for you yes and this activity is very interesting see kids in this activity you have to take some glasses and some things and water and you have to add those things in the water after that kids you will get one table and in that table you have to mark your observations so kids let's do that activity page number 110 so kids now let's start the activity now in this activity you have to bring certain things like five or six glasses or bottles you have to bring salt sugar cooking soda haldi flour and dal about half a teaspoon lemon juice soap water sherbat oil one spoonful now you have to fill half of glass with water and one by one put each of the things in the water for example haldi in the first glass oil in the second soda in the third glass 
until you have one thing in each glass mix each thing in the water and see what happens now kids we will move to the observation table now it's page number 111 now kids you can see the observation table in front of you in the first column the things are written which you have added in water secondly you have to tick the items which are dissolved in water second which did not dissolve in water third which changes the color of water and fourth which does not change the color of water so kids let's do this observation table now kids you can see that sugar salt lemon juice cooking soda these items get dissolved in water and they does not change the color but haldi dissolve in water but it changes the color and which color you get after mixing haldi in water yellow yes soap water changes the color also sometimes and sometimes does not change flour do not dissolve in water and changes the color dal also do not dissolve in water and changes the color same way sharbat it dissolved in water but sometimes it do not dissolve in water and it also does not change the color now the last is oil now you can see kids that oil do not dissolve in water but it changes the color of water so kids this activity you can do at your home and these observations you have to mark by your own now on the basis of your observations tell do all things dissolve in water no all things do not dissolve in water does the color of the water always change no did oil dissolve in water how can you say whether it has dissolved or not no it did not dissolve in water because oil floats on water now kids i hope that you have enjoyed this activity a lot it was a very interesting activity kids in this activity you get to know that all the things do not dissolve in water yes some things are there which dissolve in water and some things are there which do not dissolve in water like in the dissolve category we can take some examples like salt sugar lemon juice etc and in the category do not dissolve we can put soil we can put oil etc so kids there are some things which dissolve in water and which do not dissolve in water and many a times when we add these things inside the water they change the color of the water like when we add salt in the water the color do not change but when we add soil inside the water the color changes so kids many a times when we add something inside the water the color changes and sometimes not now kids as we have studied before that the river water used to flow through various places like it flows through villages cities towns so when it flows through these various places it carries many things with it as you can see that many things can dissolve in water very easily and the color also do not change so kids when these things add inside the water the color does not change and it is also harmful for our body so kids whenever you drink the water just make it clean first of all now what are the methods 
for cleaning the water. See, the best method is boiling. You can clean the water by boiling it. And by boiling it, you can clean the water by removing the impurities. Now kids, how drinking water is clean in your house? See, in your house, you use filters. Yes, some people use RO, some people use other types of filters and they used to clean their water. Now kids, there are some other methods also by which we can clean the water. Now the first method is by adding alum. Now this alum word kids, I think you have heard not in English but in Hindi. See, you have heard the name fitkari? Yes, this alum is that only. So by adding alum, you can clean your water. Now the second is evaporation. By heating water means boiling, you can clean your water. And it is also called evaporation means by evaporating it. Means by boiling it at high temperature and by killing all the germs inside it, you can clean it well. So kids, by all these methods, you can clean your water. So kids, by this, we end our chapter reverse tail. Now let's move to the activity corner. Page number 107. Look at the pictures and answer the following questions. Now, kids, the first two questions we have completed in our previous video which was part 1. Now, we will start from the third question. What can be seen in the river before it reaches the village? Large number of fishes can be seen in the river before it reaches the village. At which places did the color of the water in the river change? Why did this happen? Discuss. The color of the water in the river changes near towns and villages. It happened because of pollution created by the people throwing waste in the river. Now, next, which of the places shown in the picture would you like to live in? I would like to live in the place where the river started. Now, why? Because the water was clean, pure and calm. Would you like to change any of the things that you see in the picture? Why and how? I would like to clean all the waste in river and banks. Have you ever seen people throwing different things into rivers or water bodies? Yes, I have seen many a times. What could be done to keep rivers clean? Discuss. See, first of all, do not wash clothes and bathe animals in water. Secondly, industrial waste should not be discarded into the water. Page number 108. If you wanted to drink some water, from which part of the river would you like to drink? Why? I would like to drink some water at the place from which the river starts. Because the water there is uncontaminated and pure for drinking. In the last part of the picture, the river flows into the sea. Have you ever seen the sea? Where? In a movie or somewhere else? Yes, I have seen the sea in movies. Page number 108 Have you ever been near a river or sea? When? Yes, during my visit to Chennai. See kids, here you can write your answers according to your visit. Show with your hands how the waves in the sea move. The waves in the sea moves up and down. Is the water from the sea drinkable? Why? The water from the sea is not drinkable as it is saline. Now kids, the last question. Do you think that there would be changes 
taking place in a river pond or stream at different times of the year what kind of changes would these be discuss yes there would be changes taking place in a river pond or stream at different times of the year see sometimes the water level would be maximum during the rainy season and would be lesser in the month of april and may page number 109 will there be the same amount of water in the ponds or rivers during the rainy season and in summer no in rainy season it will be more and in summer it will be less is there a pond river or lake near your town or city find out yes there is a pond near my city are there any changes in the water during summers the rainy seasons and in winters in summers the water level is less in rainy water level is more and in winters water level is medium what are the different kinds of water animals found there fishes like katla rohu etc what kind of trees and plants grow around it thick trees grassy and bushy plants what are the kinds of birds that come there swan crow eagle etc have you ever seen or read about floods where yes in books what happens when there is a flood houses roads etc are damaged have you seen dirty water in a river or pond where yes in my native place how would you know if the water is dirty if the water looks clean can you be sure that it is all right to drink that water discuss if the water is dirty it looks muddy and gives a foul smell if the water looks clean it is not safe to drink that as it may contain bacteria and germs page number 112 How is drinking water cleaned in your house using filter find out the many different ways of cleaning water at home firstly adding alum second evaporate